Hi, this is John Hansmeyer. I'm going to be reviewing the movie of Selma, and this is about the life of Martin Luther King. Now, this movie is starring David Oyelowo, Oprah Winfrey, and Tim Roth. And one of the things I really liked about this movie was the talk that Martin Luther King had with Cager Lee when his son died from getting shot. And how his son died was he was in a march with Martin Luther King and there was a riot with the police and eventually the police shot him and that was one of the scenes I really liked in the movie was when Martin Luther King talks with Cajor Lee to com comfort him but he looks into Cajor Lee's eyes and tells him I have nothing to say to comfort you and that was a really powerful scene to me because it really showed how much power it can have on someone when a death happens. And that was a really inspiring and very touching and sad scene for me. Now, there are some things I really didn't like about this movie, like they portrayed Lyndon B. Johnson as the bad guy because he wasn't wanting to pass the bill in order to get blacks to be able to vote in the South. And it made Martin Luther King very angry and it made it showed him that he didn't like it when he didn't do that. But it didn't really show the side of why Lyndon B. Johnson didn't sign the bill. What were his motives? Is there any reasons why he didn't want to sign the bill? I mean, what was his lifestyle? What was his thoughts on, on race? It never said it. And that was one of the things I really did not like about this movie is some really burning questions in this movie were not answered. And I don't care if it will be answered in a documentary or a book. It's got to be answered in a movie. You can't just leave a huge question unanswered. One of the other things I did not like about this movie was Oprah Winfrey's acting. It was very um, emotion emotionless, very um, conservative, and just not very talent. She's just not very talented in the role she was in. She always made that same stupid face of where her mouth was somewhat open. She was somewhat concerned, and she just didn't really know what to do in certain situations of acting to make it somewhat interesting. Another one of the things that didn't another one of the things I did not really like about this movie was the pacing. It was very slow. The movie was very dry. It felt like a it felt like you were at a restaurant in a way and you're expecting a really good cheeseburger and said you got it burnt. Or you got it with just cheese and you're expecting you were expecting vegetables on it and tomatoes and onions and all this other stuff and instead you got a burnt burger and they forgot to give you the fries and they were out of fries. So in a way it feels like you didn't get you what you wanted and it, in a way it was just very um, conservative and the movie just was not willing to take a chance in order to make me really want to get off my seat and do something about racism. And that's what really hurt me in this movie is it just was very annoying. I just got, I never really went to a movie before where I just felt annoyed. In this movie, it, it just, every single scene I just was so bored. I just wanted to like look at the time or thought about what I should do after the movie. It just, none of these scenes where I just really wanted to lean in my chair and just really focus on the scene. And overall, it just was a very boring, uninspired movie that I really didn't like that much. So I give this movie about one out of five stars. And you guys can comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.